help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description. Ya Mu'adh ibn Jabal, labayka wa sa'adayk, Ya Rasulullah. What is it, O Messenger of Allah? Prophet Sallallahu keeps writing. Ya Mu'adh ibn Jabal, labayka wa sa'adayk, Ya Rasulullah. What is it, O Messenger of Allah? I'm at your service. Ya Mu'adh ibn Jabal, labayka wa sa'adayk, Ya Rasulullah. What is it, I'm at your service? Atadri ma haqqu al-ibadi ala Allah? Do you know what the right of the slaves is upon Allah. Wait, we have a haqq upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Subhana. Glory be to him who assigns rights to those whom he creates. We have a haqq on Allah, but he created us. We don't even exist without him. So how do we have a right upon him? But O Mu'adh, do you know what the right of the servants of Allah, the slaves of Allah is upon him? Should they abide by that right? Mu'adh radiallahu anhu says, Allah wa Rasuluhu a'lam. Allah and His Messenger know best. Qala an la yu'adhibu. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, la yu'adhibu. Allah does not punish them. Amazing hadith. So simple. You worship Allah, and your right upon Allah is that Allah will not punish you. Now, if Allah does not punish you, then He certainly will reward you because there's no neutral space in the hereafter. You're either in the Rahmah of Allah, His mercy, which is manifested in His Jannah, or you're in the Adab, in the punishment of Allah, which is manifested in His fire, even if it's for a temporary time before you shift over to His Rahmah, His Jannah. May Allah enter us into His Jannah without any form of accountability or any form of punishment. Allahumma ameen. There's no neutral place here. Allah will not punish them. Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, Ya Rasulullah, this is incredible. Afala Should I go tell everybody now? I mean, this is great news. This is what we're afraid of. We're afraid of being punished. We're afraid of falling short. And I'm not going to give you the answer yet. Pause. We'll get back to that. Mu'adh says, Shouldn't I go tell everyone now? Fast forward for a moment to the day of judgment. The Prophet said in another narration that when Allah resurrects the disbeliever and this person who transgressed, who associated partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and who did not fulfill the greatest right, which is that Allah be worshipped alone, and obviously what follows is a life of misguidance and a life of corruption and a life of wickedness. And the Prophet ﷺ says that as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala finishes this conversation with this man on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to this person, if you could have the whole earth in gold to present right now as a ransom, to get yourself out of the situation, would you do it? And the person says, of course, on the day of judgment, of course, I take the whole world in gold and I'd spend it to get myself out of the situation that I'm in today. And Allah says to him, فَقَدْ سَأَلْتُكَ مَا هُوَ أَهْوَنُ مِنْ هَذَا I asked you, for so much less than that. I didn't ask you for the world in gold. I didn't ask you to live a tortured life. I didn't ask you to be miserable. I didn't ask you to be overburdened. In fact, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah does not burden a soul beyond its scope. I didn't give you all of those assignments. I did not make life too burdensome for you. I gave you opportunities. I gave you an easy path to an eternal abode of ease. I gave it to you. And imagine the regret of that person. May Allah not make us like that person. When Allah says, فَقَدْ سَأَلْتُكَ مَا هُوَ أَهْوَنُ مِنْ هَذَا I asked you for so much less. I didn't ask you for that. Those are the last words this person hears before he is taken to his punishment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not make us like that person.
اللهم امين My beloved brothers and sisters the rights of the slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon him is to worship him and when you fulfill this right then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not punish you Allah will reward you My dear brothers and sisters as a muslim when we reach our puberty we have to pray our five daily salah and with that we have to fulfill the regulations we have to take care of our parents our family members we have to be a nice neighbor we have to reach out to others we have to leave all the prohibitions and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the quran inna salata tanha anil fahsha'i wal munkar verily salah will protect you from shamelessness and wrong deeds so if you want to protect yourself from all sorts of bad deeds and all sorts of wrong deeds then pray your salah consistently on time and be serious about it be sincere about your salah take your salah seriously and fulfill this right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala follow prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if you love allah then love his messenger and how to love his messenger is to follow his sunnah is to follow his recommendations his guidance when you love allah allah loves you when you remember allah allah remembers you allah says in the quran fadhkuruni adhkurukum so remember me i will remember you my dear brothers and sisters if you went far away from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then it's time come back to allah repent to allah allah says in the quran la taknatu mir rahmatillah inna allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'a never ever despair in the mercy of allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all of your sins this religion is full of hope we don't have any place to become hopeless don't be depressed don't be sad allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you allah wants to forgive you wa man yaghfiru dhunuba illa allah who will forgive you if not allah the true believers whenever they do a mistake whenever they sin yes the true believers they are fallible they make mistakes they do sins but once they remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they leave the scene and they turn towards allah they remember allah after their sin and they cry to allah they repent to allah they turn towards allah so no matter whatever sins you have done come back to allah and ask his forgiveness and fulfill the right of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala worship him alone and see how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change your life and how allah will open the doors of opportunities for you one after another help us build an islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description